I'll fuck you up. Shut up, snitch. I'll fuck you up. I'll fuck you up. Don't worry about that, nigga. Why you bringing this weirdo around me? Don't touch me. Why you bringing this weirdo around me? I should kiss you right now, nigga. Fuck you. I got my own fight on the security in the club. I got my own. I got my own fight on the security in the club. You are match. I saw accusations. These are not accusations. This is false accusations. And. Diddy, thanks for agreeing to do this interview. I know it's a really tough time for you right now, but we really appreciate your time. Let's do it. You now, is Puff, P. Diddy, how do you want me to refer to you? You can call me Love. Okay, let's address the elephant in the room, all the allegations. Are you attracted to men or women? It depends on my mood, my vibe. Is it true that you've had sexual relations with Meek Mill? I can't tell you that. <laughs> hey, what's up, King Son? Man, you doing it, man. You deserve it, Daddy. You putting in that work. I'm proud of you. I love you. Yeah. Is that it or do you have a last name? Love. Future, Meek, you're a fucking rat. Let me play this back for you real quick. Boom. Boom. Perez struck a deal with the feds, agreeing to wear hidden wires to record her meetings with major cocaine traffickers. Her undercover informant work won her the courtroom praise for the federal prosecutors. Listen, y'all don't want to hear it. Y'all don't want people to expose this. Y'all like this. This bought me all of this shit. Zoom in, baby. Hey, stupid. Tell Meek Mill, come fight me. Come fight me. I got the whole FBI for security. That's on Jagger Hoover, nigga. I'm so rich. When you got the genius skills to manipulate a whole gang and manipulate hip hop culture, this what you get, stupid. All these niggas mad because they got an Uber. Look at my shit. It's cute, stupid. All you broke niggas in Lambo trucks and shit. You can't afford one of these. Are you dumb? This the snitch mobile. Teletel mobile. That. That's the rat SVJ. Yup. This ain't no gang member car. You gotta be a rat, nigga. <laughs> Yo, look. Dealing with somebody for a long period of time, it don't matter if I left or you left, you still gonna you can have a celly. Mm -hmm. Nah, dude, you got a celly for three oh, months. That nigga cry they call when it, celly left. Pack it up, go right to New Jail. You gonna feel like you just lost a chick. You know how it is. It's just you gonna be how hurt. Many times about you it. felt like that. <laughs> no, <laughs> you ain't never lose your celly and feel like you lost no, no, a chick. No, no, no. I lost some cellies that was some good. You know, they went home. Motherfuckers, I didn't see during my my whole time. I didn't see hundreds of cellies go home. Yeah, and hey, you'd be like, how many times you cried? Home. The fuck, I ain't never cried, man. The fuck is you talking about? Accusations! These are not accusations. This is false accusations. And to do some commentary on some of your boxing matches, and I think we've had a good talk about that. I think there might be a chance for me to participate. I'm down to box Meek Mill. I'm down to boxing in private. I'm down to boxing. No way. In... Yes. Yes. Savage can set it up in private. You could set it up in public. We could get a price. It don't matter. Here's the thing. I'm at the point where he's a bully that I think is pussy. So let's see it with the hands. You've never done anything. You have a bunch of goons. 
But Meek Mill and P. Diddy have some type of relationship. The internet is going viral about this, saying that Meek Mill is the redacted name in the P. Diddy case. DJ Academics sparked all of this, and him and Meek Mill are currently beefing over Twitter. But when I looked into it, it didn't seem too far fetched because the court document says that Mr. Combs, P. Diddy, informed Mr. Jones, the guy suing him, he engaged in sexual intercourse with rapper whose name is redacted, RB singer redacted, and Stevie J. He is a Philadelphia rapper who dated Nike. Minaj performed at the Super Bowl and had a successful Vegas residency. This writer is in possession of video and will provide a copy to the court. Yeah, if you didn't know, Meek Mill takes every single one of those boxes. He's also using all the attention he's getting today to drop a new EP at midnight called Heathenism. I mean, what kind of coincidence is that? I'll wow, this shit pissed me off. Like we got Meek Mills going back and forth for academics. Academics was talking this shit, you know, about this court case, you know, since Meek was, well, allegedly some person with that rap from Philly, you know, all the accolades that uh, Meek Mill had is pretty much, they're saying it was Meek Mills. I was mentioned in a, a lawsuit case. Meek Mill's been on Academics' ass ever since he said that, you know, but academics just was reading something that was in the court case that you know it's all alleged you know it's not actually a uh, proof anything hasn't been proven it's just all somebody saying something and the lawyer writing it up so you know we got to just take it how it is it's not actually uh validated in any way but we do see Nick Mills at some of these parties and we do see him hugged up with Diddy but we do know Academics and Six Nine and uh, Meek Mills already had words together. Six Nine is one of Academics friends. That's probably why Six Nine is going so hard on Meek Mills about the allegation that was ca that came up. You know, Academics is just reporting what he's been doing for fucking what fifteen years or something like that. He's doing the same thing he's been doing. So to start going back and forth with the dude it's kind of crazy me just sound crazy look crazy look like you uh trying to prove something that you know we already heard about we already know about we know about diddy freak off parties just got done settling with cassie out of out of court because he don't want a lot of this stuff exposed we already doing our little background research as a modern day journalist and we we looking up shit and you know pulling things here and there and we seeing that it looks like uh diddy and you were close you know we can't say that you slept with him because who the fuck has cameras you know in the room but they said usher got the tape but it is what it is you know um dj academics and meek mills fighting boxing actually getting in the ring they say Meek Mill's looking malnourished and stuff like that. That's why DJ Academics is calling him out. You know, the, uh, Meek Mill's probably ain't been in the gym hitting no weights or anything like that. You know, they was making fun of his legs. So if you ain't got no leg power, you know what I'm saying, they even force a punch to hit somebody, you know what I'm saying, you, them skinny legs is, is going to hurt you. You know, you need to go in there and get some squats in. So when you, when you hit him with that, that hook, it really hit him, you know what I'm saying. Can't be lighting the ass out here, but it is what it is. Uh, DJ Academics think he could take Meek Mills, and it'll be a funny one. It will be funny. I doubt Academics is is ready to even get in the ring. I doubt Meek Mills is even he's dropping albums. Shit, they ain't even worried about none of that shit. So it is what it is, man. Silence is accepting this. We ain't having it. These cats ain't about to do shit to each other. They're just going to keep pumping each other's name up and getting more clout about the shit. So it is what it is.